Hey, welcome back to the channel. So you've seen uh, a couple episodes so far with the headrest, which seems kind of excessive, but it has a few steps. And when you have to epoxy things and wait, that's kind of what happens. So um, today I got, I got the top piece cut because this one's all dry now. And I know when you look at this, uh, um, I'm still kind of laughing at your comment that <laughs> you would make Swiss cheese out of this, and you know probably so. I'm, I'm, I'll see what this weighs when I'm, when I'm done. But you're right; it's not, it's not lightweight by any means. Um, and then I've gone and uh, I've gone and cut my pieces that go in the uh, in the top and the bottom. So this one goes here, and I just marked it with my pen and then sanded it to the shape that it needed to be. Um, so that fits nice and the way my other pieces came in here and it left that little uh, ridge Actually ended up being ended up being kind of helpful because this just drops in there Sits right on top of that ridge and the same is true for the for the bottom Because um, the bottom gets uh, this piece here as well like so and then we will clamp this one in place and epoxy to the front edge like that and then uh, we'll have the structure of that all done. And before I epoxy it, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and work on getting it uh, mounted. So, so I'll come over here and find my uh, find my center line where my uh, seat is. And then I'll get it. I'll get it centered up um, on the plane and then I'll know exactly where I need to make my blocks here where we're gonna mount I want a couple brackets here and a couple brackets here to uh, hold that in place the uh, harness uh, flying cub I took a look and uh, actually it's a little less of a headrest a little more of a, a shoulder uh, rest actually the top of this ends up pretty close to my shoulder blade so having the uh, seatbelt harness come out of right here is the right location so because they would fall actually just fall right down on top of my shoulder so um, and then the cable goes down underneath this member and then back to the bracket back here kind of goes through these two holes that we drilled in the elevator cable bracket so um, I'm going to get this uh, centered up, get some lines drawn, and then we can uh, work on getting those brackets put together. All right. All right, so here's what I've got figured out so far. Um, the, uh, the fabric is up here at the plywood level, both here and here. So I, what I needed was a plywood shim underneath where I'm going to mount it back here. And then uh, there's a you can see the rise here, which is actually going to leave room for the fabric to stretch across underneath there um, so and if I if need be once that's on I'll be able to you know make some minor adjustments at this point to get it right where it needs to be but right now it actually looks uh, it looks really good so I think that'll actually end up right where I want it so I'm just centering up on this mark and what I've got underneath here is uh, just a couple of hard points so I'm gonna mark where these are currently located so I don't lose track of them so uh, I'll just make a little mark across here um, this is the right side and I'll make a mark here and that's the left side so so we'll get those will get epoxied then this will get epoxied on top of that, and then once uh, once that's um, dry, we'll just have a couple of. Uh, uh, I'll either do some. I was thinking about some threaded inserts, but uh, probably since this isn't going to come, this isn't going to come off very often. I'll probably just use a couple of wood screws um, for the back part, and then I'll use some uh, probably some anchor nuts for the front part and that way um, I don't have to uh, 
don't have to worry too much about it. I can always harden the, I can take the screws out, harden the threads with some thin CA, and then that'll last forever. Uh, so that's my plan there. So now I have to actually make the four brackets that are going to um, get mounted on there, and I'll get uh, I'll get those situated here. We'll have to bend them to the angle that they need to be bent to, and get them in place. And then we can uh, take this uh, get some a few things epoxied in place. We'll get the top epoxied on to the uh, uh, headrest. Um, and then we'll also get, uh, oh, speaking of that, um, I wanted to show you that uh, I actually have a little wedge at the back because you want this to end up being uh, nice and flush across the bottom. So in order to accomplish that, this little wedge takes care of that. And I'll show that to you here. Uh, and all I did was take a piece of mahogany plywood and some thin CA, just glued them together, and uh, now I've got this all ready to all ready to epoxy on. And once that's dry, we can round all this off. But this is what happens back here. It gives you a it gives you this condition, which is what you want, so it'll be nice and uh, nice and flush on the bottom all the way back. So instead of an abrupt into that and then I'll round this off just a little bit back here and uh, yeah but for now I'm gonna go ahead and get the brackets made get it mounted and I think my brackets are going to be about uh, uh, somewhere around maybe around two inches um, yeah I think around two inches all right <laughs> Alright, so I've just got a little more time today and uh, tomorrow, it's kind of exciting, my uh, technical counselor is going to be coming to take a look at everything um, so that I can actually uh, uh, have that inspection, that pre-cover inspection. Uh, he'll, he'll come, we'll talk and he'll look and we'll, he'll, I'm sure he'll, you know, take a look at my paperwork and, um, you know, on uh, EAA's website, there's a... Uh, a place where you can log your build for free if you're an EAA member and if you uh, are not already doing that I highly recommend it so um, that's a really really good thing to do and uh, it's a great service actually and if uh, so that's all online easy to see easy to look at um, I have over 600 photographs which I've clipped from my videos which is uh, I'm not doubling my efforts there I'm actually uh, just grabbing all I'm just grabbing all my photographs from there and that works out good so now what I'm gonna do um, today oh by the way I really hope that this guy's super cool and since we haven't met yet and he's willing to allow me to film this uh, uh, tech counselor visit um, I'd love for you to see it um, and uh, hopefully he's good with that so we'll see you tomorrow but anyway um, what I was about to do is I'm gonna epoxy these in place uh, right here I'll get these two clamped in place and then we'll get this epoxied on top and then we'll be all set have a nice platform for that and then we'll come over here and I'll epoxy uh, I'll epoxy this in place on top 
and that'll be stellar. And then uh, it'll be able to just hang out, and cure, and uh, we'll get a look at that tomorrow. So uh, yeah, so let me get these, get some epoxy mixed up, get these done, and then I'm gonna be done for the day. Um, but tomorrow should be a really exciting day to get get that inspection. Then I've got a clear road to um, tidy up a few more things and then uh, start the covering process. I'm uh, going to cover the wings last because I think I'm going to get my fuel tanks. I'd love to be able to get those installed prior to covering. So that's my hope that I can get those in here. Mostly I want to get the plumbing uh, installed and I believe that my fuel line will probably come through right about here um, is where it will go into the fuselage this one on this side so it'll be right about right about here somewhere I may try and come back and actually bring it as far back as I can because I'm gonna connect the two I'm gonna bring this fuel tank um, across behind the seat and then connect to this one over here um, and then make sure that uh, this one is on a downhill slope from here to here and then get this going that direction and of course everybody um, even at that point is going to be above the carb which is what we want uh, we're away from testing fuel flow but uh, we'll uh, we'll get there soon enough uh, yeah, all right, so let me get some epoxy mixed up. All right, so that's it for me today, and I've got uh, I've got this um, curing over here, and so you can see uh, how that's how that's doing. The top is uh, you saw me put the top on, and uh, that's looking really good. And so I'll just flip it upside down on here, and then this can uh, just uh, sit and cure tonight. And then this structure is done. And uh, if I was uh, Gyro Jeffro, I would make Swiss cheese out of it. And I still may. I'm thinking about it, actually. Some nice big holes here and here and here. Uh, could definitely take some weight out of it. I'll weigh it, see what it weighs. It's according to plan, but uh, I know it's not exactly a light structure. Maybe it's lighter than the fiberglass one. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, usually those are fairly light. And then I got, uh, I got these blocks put in place where I'm going to mount, uh, put the two brackets to mount here and then the two brackets will mount here to, uh, to put that on. And uh, I've got those drilled and ready to uh, round them off uh, around all the corners and then uh, bend them. And I tried to make them as small as I could and where I still thought I could get a decent bend in them. So we'll hope for the best there obviously and uh, should work out okay and then um, yeah uh, yeah so hey um, as always I will uh, I'll catch you later tomorrow actually all right